Hi there. Here's a screencast showing you how to edit um, well, the web basically on um, on a Debian system. So here I got Subversion going. Um, just checking out a little project of mine, and uh, I'm going to tell you how you get yourself set up with Vim and all that stuff. So there's my Vim setting here. Just gonna w get that. So what you need is um, usual uh, Debian install. You need uh, I'm just gonna rename that to VimRC. You need uh, Vim, the complete Vim, Vim seven, and you need curl and um, config over here. I'm going to make this directory, I think. Make minus p. It's just, just a little plugin directory. Let's grab the config. W get that down. Okay, now we're set. So let's go back to my previously checked out little letter project. So let's edit as you do index.php. So here we have the familiar HTML doc. And we have, well, we have CSS over here, we have JavaScript, we have PHP. So to validate this, first off, we should which which is what the HTML plugin really does is it goes up to validator.nu and then uh, can give you like a list of all the problems with that with that document. But um oh so here let's sorry. and tag um, well that's not quite true it's a PHP anyway it works to an extent let's get rid of that window so let me just tell you how I do things I have a little bind called GF which opens the file under my cursor so I can go GF and look at the CSS of my little application so here I am editing CSS and uh, I've got another little bind for, for tab completion using Omni completion. So here if I go like border and then uh, tab complete, you see I can get a nice little CSS drop down menu, uh, auto completion menu. So I can go border color, oh, oops, border color, and uh, we'll go from there really. Let's close that little window and um, S same completion uh, facilities applies for JavaScript. So um, here's some JavaScript. Um, you know, I don't know. Let's write some function that uses um, if text. Anyway, y you see what I mean. It works very well. It's all bound to my tab key. And um, well, let's. Let's write some HTML, shall we? Let's go down to this form. And uh, this is pretty cool here. So let's do a little select. Um, completes it, yeah. And let's do a class, yeah. And um, let's end that. And let's just type from here. And voila. So Vim as a uh, editor for your HTML, JavaScript, CSS, even PHP works really well. Try it out.